and let live pub in Harpole. Spoken to her a few times over the past 12 months. Morning, Miranda. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. How, are you, how have you been over oh. the past few I mean, well, <laughs> it's not been the best, has it? Let's be honest. <laughs> no, no. Well, I've had, I've had better times, you know, but no, it's, it, it is what it is. I can't change it. I've just got to work with it. Um, what are you hoping for from the Prime Minister later? Um, I think we have to be really, really um, pragmatic in what's going to happen um, in the next few weeks. I think um, idealism is one thing, um, but realism is where we've got to sit. Uh, I personally, um, I would be really pleased if I had any time before the end of April, but I am... Um, looking realistically at the at 10th of May, mid-May. Um, it's not kind of probably what everybody wants to hear in our industry, but I think we will be the first to be shot down if we get it wrong. Yeah, and you don't want to be banging the drum for things to happen really quickly and be accused of being no. cavalier, do you? A lot of it's about perception at the moment as much as anything. Exactly. I think we've got some things we've got to look at. So, so school and, and education... Um, I, I think everybody knows it's looking at the 8th of March. Um, I think that's, that's, you know, that's been banded around for quite some time. So I think if he confirms that today, that's one thing. And, of course, we have to remember that it's not just your children going back to school. It's not just kids going back to college. It's that entire network of people that have to work within the industry. The bus drivers that are back, the minibus drivers, the catering companies that are bringing in more staff now to provide the food and provisions. The list is endless as to what makes a network of education work. So then you've got to look at where the figures go from there. Is there any increase in the next couple of weeks? You've got three weeks then before they break for the Easter holidays. That's where they'll have some information, they'll have some data. They won't be opening us up for the Easter holidays because everybody will be at home. And they'll be going, oh, well, yeah, we can all get out. We can... They won't want that because that'll be lots of people moving again. You might have a couple of households mixing, which will be nice in order for people to, to see people over, over that Easter time. I think then they'll look at, you know, the other side of Easter, that non-essential um, business starting to open up, starting to move a bit more. And then I think we will get a couple more weeks. They're not going to give us Maybank holiday. I've heard lots of people going, oh, wouldn't it be lovely to be back in pub Maybank holiday? How am I, as a landlady, supposed to gauge how many people are coming in my pub over a bank holiday? Mm. Any normal year, any normal bank holiday, we can work that out. We know what the trends are. People are still going to be scared. People are still going to stay away. You know, if we've still got rules of six and that kind of thing, it, it, it's going to be impossible to gauge. So we won't get that. We'll get some Tuesday, uh, you know, after bank holiday when everybody's back at work and things are a bit more normal to calmly settle in. Softly, and I softly. Think still, absolutely. And I think there'll still be restrictions. That, that's me. That's my, that's my opinion. I, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll... that's pretty comprehensive, Miranda. I mean, listening to you speak, it kind of reminds me of, you know, every, well, in normal times, every four years, the Olympics crops up on TV. And after 30 minutes of watching the men's archery, I'm an expert on archery. We've all had to become experts <laughs> on public health over the past yeah. 12 months, haven't we? Well, this, you know, this is it. And, and there's, there are so many things. What is the point? We, we've quite clearly at times rushed and rushed you know, and gone, got through things. And yeah, it was great. And I will say my industry, which has been one of the largest affected, without a doubt, has taken the biggest hammering every time things have gone back to, uh, in the vertical commas, normal. You know, we back in in August, when, when people were, were going out and the pubs were open, eat out to help out was on, Slight increase. Oh, we got hammering for that. You know, oh, everybody's flocking to, to the restaurant. It was carnage, blah, blah, blah. We, we're not going to want that again. We are not going to want to be no. the, the ones taking the beating with the stick again because we, we, it, we've not been part of this. Um, you know, we, we were shut. March, you know, we're almost 12, exactly 12 months on. We're yeah. preparing to do takeaway Mother's Day dinners again, as we did last year, because that's where we hit. Who yeah. thought we'd been considering that again 12 months later? Well, but Miranda, listen, we're at. I wish you luck. Um, and I know that you'll be there for the people of Harpole when things do get back to normal. Yeah. Miranda Richardson, landlady at the Live and Let Live pub in Harpole. 